think we got a phone call right now. We got um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the phone and uh, let's see who we got on the phone. Hello, who that? Hey, how's it going? It's Chris Andres. Hey, Chris Andres, man. How you doing, man? Thank you so much. Good. How you doing? How you doing, brother? I ain't never had a bad day. You know that. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Every day above the ground's a good day, I believe. I'm, we are we are so happy, so excited to have you here on the program, man. Thank you for tuning in. Let's do this, man. Introduce yourself proper, like you know. I'm a fan of yours. I have been for a while. Um, and uh, introduce yourself proper, like tell folks who that where you at. Sure. sure. My name is Chris Andres. I'm uh, I'm a singer songwriter. I'm from uh, I'm uh, up in Canada here, and uh, I've been doing this uh, probably most of my life. I started playing. Uh, Started playing in uh, in bars when I was about 13, 14, and, uh, you know, it's what I do. That's what I've always done. Um, uh, I'm in the studio right now doing a brand new record, doing a brand new album, full band, full production, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's it in a nutshell. <laughs> so, wait a minute, you just, you just put Tired Old Town out, and, and now you're doing another one, right on back to back? He, well, he, he, well, what happened is uh, a friend of mine, a producer, his name's Alex uh, Alexarius. Uh, he's a pretty he's he's done a lot of big records for a lot of big artists, and we've been friends for a long time. And he's always kind of wanted to do something with me, very stripped down. He just wanted to do kind of guitar and vocals. He didn't want a big you know, a big production there. So we found a weekend together, and we got together and went to a studio, and we just kind of did Tired Old Town over a weekend. It was a really quick recording, and. Uh, and then we got that done. I put that out. Um, and, and I wasn't even sure what I was going to do with it, really. I mean, I had these five songs. I, I thought they were pretty good. At first, I was just going to try and sell them. But then people started saying, no, no, man, you should put that out. You should, you know, let, let people have a listen to that stuff, you know, kind of at its rawest, right? Because there's nothing, that, you know, there's really no effects on there. There's no auto-tune on the vocals. There's no, you know, if a guitar is a little bit out of tune, we left that. You know, we just kind of made it raw. But, uh, but it did really well. So... And I was just about to go in the studio and do like a big full album, you know, with like drums and bass and 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 all the rest of it. But yeah, that thing I, I put out, I was surprised by how how well it did. I was kind of thinking, all these years I'm spending all this money in the studio with big produced albums, I could have just done that and saved myself a lot of money. <laughs> I tell you, I'm impressed. If that's a weekend project right there, because yeah. I, I I think it's well produced. Um, I th and and the steel guitar on it is just stupid good. Yeah. You know? Yeah, thank you. I, I, yeah, I, I, you know what? I, 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 that, you know, the song. Uh, th there's one of the songs on that thing that won me country song of the year up here. Like, uh, I, I, you know, like, again, it, you know, it's those things that you don't really think about too much when you're doing them. I mean, you're just kind of doing them in the moment, and then it's like later on you realize, wow, we actually did something that was really kind of cool there, and uh, and we're all pretty proud of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, Al's pretty proud of it, and you know. I don't want to name drop for the guy, but like some of the artists he's worked with are, are pretty world class. So, so considering how quickly we kind of just did this, it, we're we're all kind of surprised how well it did. But, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping that's a gate. You know, that's kind of like a, a good introduction into what I do. This next album we're working that I'm working on right now, I'm currently in the studio doing right now. Uh, this one's going to be a good one too. This one's going to have a bit more production. Well, a, a lot more production, but uh, but uh. But, it, you know, it's going to be the same thing. We're, I always try to keep the music real simple and real authentic. I don't, I don't you know, I, I believe in that old story, three chords and the truth, you know. Like, I don't like to get, you know, I don't want, them, I don't want the music to get ahead of the song. The song I'm, I'm always serving the song. Well, the music, I, I tell you what, the, the music and the message come through good. I think it's, it, there's a lot of roots to what you write. And are these co-writes, these originals, are some, is somebody pitching uh, this material? No, I, I do all the writing. Uh, as a map, but on this new album I'm just doing, I do have a co-write with a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Steve Felson, and he wrote a song called... Um, 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 uh, it's just off the top of my head here now. I've got so many songs going through it. But uh, Loners and Stoners. And basically he wrote that song about me. So if you write a song about me, that's how you're going to guarantee I'll do it. I'll put it that way. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. So that's a co-write. That's a co-write on the new one for sure, yeah. But wow. other than that... The rest of them I do. I kind of start out. It takes me about a year to do the process. I, I kind of come up with ideas of like, because I, I, I don't really like singles. I like to think in terms of a full album, right? Because that's the type of stuff like, like you know, you couldn't have a, an album like uh, Redheaded Strangers or Shotgun Willie or Phases and Stages by Willie Nelson if they were just done as singles. Like he did complete albums, and that's, 
and I stick to that that that. I I think you got to have you got to have a you got to have a lot of good songs. You can't just have you know a couple of good songs and the rest is filler. Like I think it all has to be good. And so it takes me about a year to do, but you know, um, I'm, pretty consistently I'm doing it. So so far the well hasn't run dry. Knock on wood. Uh, you know I um. I've listened to this over and over, and I'm having a hard time like picking a favorite. The thing that I like is is that when you listen to your music, Chris, it's distinguishable. You know, you 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 know, you have yeah. a distinguished sound. But each song is is separate unto the other. It's like when you listen to it, like oh, this is a Chris Andrews song, but each song has its own vibe to it, which I think is pretty cool. A lot of times you'll get into these. Um, these projects that these artists write, and every one of them is like the same ballad, heartbroken, forlorn, you know, and, and you don't do that yeah. with your music. No, no. Well, you know, I took a, which is funny, I, I, uh, uh, something I've always tried to do, uh, which I always thought was really what the outlaw movement was about, was to be yourself, to sound like yourself. You don't want to sound like anybody else. I think Waylon Jennings said it best, don't sound like me, there's already one me sound like yourself so for years i was out in the wilderness trying to find that sound i mean it didn't happen overnight like i've been at it a long time so i spent a lot of time out there woodshedding trying to kind of you know just you know you you want to add something new to the to the to the stew you know what i mean uh you know if everybody's trying to sound like everybody else and then, then you kind of get that corporate sound so you know i i was i one of the things i say when i go in the studio to, to any engineer i work with is i say you might as well just turn that auto tune off because I won't use it. What I'm singing is what I want recorded because I'm trying that that's the human element, right? Like that's what people connect to is the voice. So if the voice is all affected and all crazy sounding, there's nothing there to really connect to. And and that's not how I work. I I you know, it, even with this new album I'm doing and when I say there's a lot of production, what I mean by that is there's, there's more instrumentation, but the production is the same. We try to keep it very you know, you know, very honest, um, you know, so that you know people what they hear is what they get. Like when you he when you see me live, I actually do more vocally than I do on the albums. I actually restrain myself on the records. So, so you know, I, I you know, I, I just think that's the way to be. That's the way I I prefer to work as an artist. Well, you're doing a great job, and uh, we love you here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. We we really appreciate your support. I mean, you you, you give us a shout out, and 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 you you tell your fans to, to listen, and we and we thank you. And uh, this is your program. I'm just the host. Um, we're talking with uh, Mr. Chris Andrus and uh, out of Canada, his uh, album. He sent us "Tired Old Town," and uh, that's the yeah. title cut. I uh, I have my favorite. My favorite on here is just settling in. I think. Um, but Tired Old Town, yeah, that's, that's, that's the title cut. And um, yeah. I, wanna, I want people to hear your music. I don't want to spend the whole sure. time chatting. So do me a favor. Tell sure. people you know, yep. uh, about Tired Old Town. Because when I listen to it, it reminds me of Gaucher, Mississippi. You know? um, yep. So uh, what's the story behind that? And we're going to have you play DJ. You're going to introduce yourself, the song, and we'll play sure. it for your listeners, for our fans. How's that? Sure, that sounds great. Uh, Tired Old Town, well, the song itself is... Um, it's kind of a testament to, um, and, and we, and, you know, up here in Canada, we have the same thing, you know, where you have northern towns, like, like just small communities. And a lot of times, you know, there's only one industry there. It might be forestry, it could be mining. But when that work goes away, that town basically, that town dies. You, you, I mean, you guys know this. It's a universal story. And, uh, and, and Tired Old Town, the song itself, is basically about that. I, I, and it's about me. It's about me being in a small town and wanting to get away from that, thinking there must be more out there in the world than just what's, what's in front of me um, or, or any of us. And, um, and, uh, and, uh, and that's kind of what that, that, that song is about, and the album kind of works around that with different stories, like um, uh, Just Settling In uh, you know, is, is uh, you know, another you know, kind of example of, of, of that on the album. And, um, and uh, you know, uh, there's not really much more to say. It's, it's listen to it, and if the stuff kind of grabs you and you like, and you like what you're hearing, uh, um, yeah, man, that, then, that, that it is. But just settling in, again, is, com is attached to that whole story because, like you said, that, that's a personal favorite of yours. That's, you know, got a lot to do with Tired Old Town, you know. Like, um, you know, it, it's all connected. If, if you listen to it, there's a thread that goes through the whole thing. All right, so do me a favor. Introduce yourself, introduce your song, the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, and let's play this for your fans. All right, my name is Chris Andres. I'm from Canada. Uh, keep an eye out for me. Keep an ear out for me. And this is uh, this is uh, uh, off my uh, my last album. Uh, uh
tired old town. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Tired old town Feeds off the lies Of a world come on bound The heat goes up The sun goes down Find a friendly face My spirit's high Lock it out of this place That was Mr. Chris Andrus right here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, Tired Old Town, the title cut off of his latest album, Tired Old Town. And um, it's a it's a five-song, I guess, EP, or, or, or what are we calling them these days? You right there, Chris, man? You still on the phone with us? You betcha. Hi, yeah, much? we call it EP. There you go. Yeah, that's an EP. There you go. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, 
I, I like that. You know, I like that. You know, the devil whispers in your ear. It's, it, you know, I'm listening yeah. to that and thinking about the guy who's like, oh, do I get out of this town? What do I do? You know, do I make a break for it? Am I happy here? You know, you always got that little voice in your ear. It's either, either the devil on one shoulder or the angel on the other. It's a very, very well written song. I, oh, thank you. Acoustically, it's crisp. It has a great sound. Um, yeah. You know, what we'd like to do. Let's do this. I know that. Um, there's probably some people you want to give thanks and give credit to. So uh, if there's anybody on this album a shout out you want to give, let's do that. Let's acknowledge those folks what worked with you. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of folks. Uh, uh, you know, my, you know, there's uh, like Byron Andres has been a big help. Uh, Steve Felson, like I said, uh, 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 Alex Alexaris, uh, 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 Jamie Langdon. He's the producer I'm working with right now, and uh, and uh, and uh, and I, you know, we're. we're we're really kind of we're fleshing the, these new songs really out. He's uh, I've given I've I've almost always had control in the studio. This is the first time on this new album where I've kind of stepped away from that. I've taken that hat off and handed it to somebody else. So so it's an interesting thing. But you know, for me also the big thanks are for guys out there like uh, like uh, Billy Gant. You know, he's he, uh, just a huge influence on me for, as far as a songwriter goes. Um, I I I love Bill. Um, 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 uh, Billy Don Burns is still out. You know, these guys are like, uh, if you need an inspiration to, to, like, to never give up and to keep working, you know, those guys are the stuff. And there's a whole new young crowd coming out. Like, we got another young guy from up here from Canada called Coulter Wall, who's who's just really ripping it up right it's now. It's funny. Um, I have a couple. I'm I've been chatting with Billy again. I'm gonna try to get Billy in here on the program. Problem is, is some of his. Yeah. Some of this music, you just can't, it ain't radio friendly, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but, yeah, Billy Don Burns is a, is a friend of mine. He's been on the program. I love him. I see that you're friends yeah, with I love Now, do you know Chris Moondog Hall, or are you friends, or just Facebook? No, no, Chris Hall, well, me and Chris Hall, are, are, we've been friends on, on social media for a couple of years. Uh, um, uh, Moondog uh, is, to me, the, the, uh, he's what a road warrior looks like, and uh, that's a guy that, you know, um, that's he and me and him are very closely aligned in the way that we think about things. It's yeah, like, and and the hair know, hairline too. Or, or did you go and shave? I heard. Did you clean up? I, I do play a lot. I, I, I'm in a bus. If I'm going out, I, I go out in a bus. Uh, I, oh I, no, I, no. I, I said myself. that. I said the beard. I. I, I um. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm. Um, uh, uh, we both are bearded men. I, I remember a couple of years ago he, he shaved his beard off, and I gave him a bit of a, a bit of a rub about that. But uh, he looks like he grew it all back. But uh, but yeah, no, I, I I think Chris is a good, honest, hardworking. You know that to me is the de- you know the, de- you know definitive uh, musician because you know you got to get out there and, and get the music into people's ears, and the only way to do that you know has always been you got to go out and tour. And Chris works hard, man. Like I think I one of the- that guy. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Now, you know what? I, I think that's one of the things is that that circle of friends, like Colter Wall, we play his music. You know, Chris is a good friend of the show. We've yeah. had him on a few programs up here. Billy Gant. Um, yeah. and, and I think that's yeah. probably um, why that, um, you know, you know, what kind of brought us together is because that's the style. Those are the type of pe- artists that I like. Those are yeah. the type of people that I listen yeah. to. The Coulter Walls, the Wade Jennings, the, yeah. you know, the oh, Billy yeah. Gantz, the Moondog Halls. Yeah. Um, and yeah. we play, like, you know, you go back and you listen. They're, they're, those artists are in rotation here on Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, and, and now so are you. Yeah, well, thank you. I, I you know what, Scott, I appreciate that uh, uh, because this is, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's everybody is a community working together to get the good music out there so that people, you know, know where to access it. I mean, uh, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, um, you know, even like being up, you know, being here in Canada, right? Like, like I've played country bars where you know uh, people have no idea of, of you know they, they'll come to me and they'll request a song and I mean I can tell you this without an exaggeration you know I've had somebody come up and request like a, I won't name the artist because I won't do that but a, a, a pop artist you know what I mean like somebody that does kind of pop country and I've said look that's not really what I do but I'll play some I'll, I'll, how about I do a Merle Haggard song for you and the and the and the girl that came up and requested a song said I don't even know who that is you know so so that they, you know, for me, it's about getting people educated to like you know um, um, to the music and not and not so much about the fashion or or anything like that, but the really good music. I mean, Tyler Childers is another example of a guy that just you know uh, I, I'm just blown away by him. Yeah, you know? I, I love Tyler. We play him, you know, again. Yeah, yeah. See, this is man. You you need to sit in and just do a whole show with me, man, because uh, yeah, I like, love <laughs> him one day. We'll do that. 
But well, let's yeah, do, let me do this because uh, I want to get into some more of your music. We're coming up to the top yeah. of the hour, so for the next two minutes, we're just going to basically do a, a Chris Andres um, infomercial. So there's about That's three good. or four pages. You know, we can find you on Facebook. What's the where yep. can people find you? Where can they find your music? I know you got an album coming up, and, and yep. you know we're coming up at the top of the hour. So let's um let's get in a little plug first, and then we'll play some music. Okay, sounds good. And uh, thanks a lot for having me on. Uh, you can go to, I'm, I'm on Spotify, CD Baby. You know, I have a Facebook, uh, Chris Andres, uh, Authentic Outlaw Country on Facebook. That's a page you can go to um, that I, I keep up with. Uh, I'm, I'm not the most avid uh, social media guy. I'm trying to get better at it. But, uh, but, um, but you know, um, and, 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 and thanks to, to, to guys like you, you know, that are, that, are, that are taking an interest in the music and spinning it. I mean, you know, this is this is you know it's very organic. I, I you know, very roots. It just kind of you know, one ear at a time. If I can turn one person on at a time, that's what I'm here to do. That's that's then my job is done. Really, that's how I look at it. But yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Um, so is the website? Is there a, a website? I don't know. I, I have no. I I I'm, I'm probably going to do it when when I'm done this album. I'll get a hold of you and I'll let you know when the album's done. We're going to do a full, a, a brand new website. Uh, uh, all the merch will be on there. Everything you know, all the, the the access to the music. I think this next record I'm doing on vinyl. So so this next one's going to be the big launch. So so everything leading up to that is just getting to know me. This next album is got, I'm I'm putting it all out there on this next record. So that'll be. And I'll get a hold of you for sure when that's done, and, and we'll kind of, you know, if you have the time, we'll do this again. And that, I'll, yeah, I'll, no, we're definitely we'll going to do it. We'll be able to direct people right to it. We're definitely yeah, going to do it. Yeah, we'll be able to direct people right to it. All right, yeah, so this is the Gumbo sure. Yaya Radio Show. The Digital yes, Delight it is. Jazz. Yes, it is. And what's more on WFB. This is Chris Andrews and the Gumbo Yaya Team. Radio Show with Redneck. There you go. One more time. Excellent. This is Chris Andres on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show with your host, Redneck. Much obliged. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is WFDU 89.1 FM, HD2, Fairleigh Dickinson University. We're chatting with Chris Andres, and um, singer-songwriter out of Canada, outlaw Canadian country, the Calgary Stampede, so to speak. And um, we have in our hands here the um, his latest tired old town and uh if y'all are listening and you want a copy we have one available for you we'll send be more than happy to send out you can email me redneckgumboyaya at gmail.com and uh if you want to join the conversation the number here to chat is 701-801-9227 701-801-9227 call in you'll hear the hear us chatting once you're on hold just dial five it lets me know you're there and we'll pick up um but in the meantime, we're going to get back to our chat with Chris. And, uh, you know, we just played his title cut, Tired Old Town. Uh, my favorite song is Just Settling In. I want to probably do that, you know, to close out. But um, there's a couple more on here, uh, No Way Home, The Easy Way, One More Day. Um, tell me, Chris, um, these of those, uh, which one do you think? Is there a particular song on here you said, this is, this is Chris, this is me? Um, I'm with you on the camp that I, that I like. I like I like the songs that are kind of um, um, you know uh, based around a story. So just settling in, you know, that's a that's a perfect. Uh, you know, I kind of wrote that for couples. That, you know, um, sometimes you know you're a man and a woman, and they both think differently, but you both feel the same way. And I think that you know that song kind of is is about that. You know, where where two people are, you know. Um, you know, uh, feeling that maybe the other person isn't feeling the same way, and at the end they realize that they both feel that, you know. Uh, so uh, out of them, I, I don't know. I, 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 you know, the songs are kind of, um, I write them, I record them, and, and then I let other people, you know, and then, then it's out into the world. It's like your, your kids. You send them out in the world, and you hope they do well. They hope that they're received. Uh, but um, but uh, on, that, on, that, on that EP, the one that, I, that you have right now, um, um, just settling in. That's a, uh, that one. I, I I like that song too. That's a that's that's a that's that's one of my favorites. Um, no way home. You know that's that's the one that actually won me the the award for country song of the, of the year. And I had that one kind of blindsided me. I didn't even see that one really coming. But um, but uh, but you know, as far as uh, con like uh, heavy content goes, I, I'm with I'm with you, man. Uh, just settling in. That's a good one. Yeah, you know, to I listened to that the first time and. 
And when you're listening to that song, it's kind of, you know what? I'm going to talk about that later. I'm going to talk about it because I like that song. I, I want to do that one last. But um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do No Way Home. I'm going to do No Way Home. Sure, sure. Uh, so, sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, hosted by yours truly, Redneck. We have our very special guest. We're honored to have him on the phone, Mr. Chris Andrus. And um, this is uh, No Way Home. It's the second track off of uh, his latest release called Tired Old Town. So give this a listen, and um, we're going to come back, and we're going to play. We'll chat with him a little bit more. We'll play a few more songs, but uh, right now, listen to this No Way Home right here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. You took the road less traveled Till it all unraveled on you You broke the heart of an angel And she's a stranger to you You got the weight of your Don't understand. You got the heart of a child, but the body of an old man. There's no way home when you're right here. Break down and cry, but those tears fall on dry. No Way Home, Chris Andrus, right here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, 89.1 FM, WFDU, HD2. And we are pleased and, and privileged to have Chris on the line with us. And if y'all want to join the conversation, give us a call, 701-801-9227. Dial 5, we'll take your call. And we have available one Chris Andrus CD. It's uh, his Latest release, Tired Old Town. 
So if uh, anybody's interested, let us know. And you can email us or give us a call. Email is redneckgumboyaya at gmail.com. So uh, let's go back and chat with Chris a little bit more in one time. Chris, thank you so much for staying on the phone. Hey, no, no problem. Thanks for having me. Actually, that song, Tired Old Town, um, uh, was kind of written about uh, Way Jennings when you said you're friends with Way. That's kind of about him. <laughs> oh, yeah? Tired Old Town, no way yeah, home. I, and, uh, no way home. No way I, home. Because you know, he's out there, he's out there um, you know, the legacy of his family, you know, that's a big one to kind of, you know, Shooter deals with the same, with the same thing, but, uh, you know, these guys are out there kind of, uh, you know, um, Making their own way in the world, you know, musically. I, I, I think that's, I think that's important. I, I do, and, and that's the thing I like about, um, about both Shooter and Way, and uh, is the fact that, um, you know, they, they're not riding the coattails of, 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 no. of their father and their grandfather. They're, um, they're, they're no. making their own way, and uh, they, they are unique. I mean, you can, I mean, I'm no. sorry, you can't help but, but acknowledge the influence that Waylon has. You know, not you know, oh. just musically on everyone, but more so for the family. But um, that but they yep. they do have their own own style, which is which is oh, great. Totally it's gritty. And the funny thing I is, mean, Shooter more than so than than, than like with yep. Shooter, you kind of hear a little bit of the Jesse Coulter influence too. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, you bet. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean with Shooter, it's like he did everything he could to kind of go against the rub of the family name. You know, so that nobody could ever say. You're trying to ride your coattails of your of your parents, you know, and he did that for years. And I, you know, in this last album, I think he did with with uh, with Cobb there. I think uh, is really m him going back to being a, a more uh, traditional country album, which 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 is awesome. I think is fantastic because, um, you know, um, you know, like uh, Waylon, you know, like uh, Shooter's dad. I mean, really, when you think about it, his influence on music in general. I mean, you don't not even just country music, but the entire like how we perceive modern music. He was one of the architects of that. He was there at the beginning, at ground zero with Buddy Holly. You know, right? So, and that's so the I, thing about Shooter that I think is that yep. Shooter could can do. I, I think is is yep. more versatile, has a wider range yep. than Waylon ever yep. had. Waylon Waylon had, yep. you know, a you know a, yep. a, a town a, a signature. Where a shooter, yeah. I can can do the Kid Rock thing. He can do the Waylon yes. thing. He can do the Skinner yeah. thing. He can, you know, he yeah. can do the. Um, he could. I, I I bet right now, if he wanted to do a pop, you know, yep. he could do it. Oh, totally. I, I that's the thing. Like, uh, you know, I I think, that, and that shows that you know that uh, that's actually a, a real credit to his dad too. You know, it goes to show you like how open his, you know, how Waylon was, you know, because Shooters talked about, you know, like how his dad was into all the same music he was into. So for Waylon, it was probably something that he was very proud of, that his son, you know, had a unique voice, had his own, you know, his own sound, and, and, and was willing to kind of go into the weeds, so to speak, to, to maintain that, because it would have been easy for him to sell out. He could have easily, you know, done a, uh, an album that was very maybe similar sounding to something his dad might have done and cashed in on that, but instead he took the long road. He took the hard road, but that's the best road because he's his own artist now. Oh, yeah, he can stand, absolutely. You know, he can stand alone. This is why and I love you, I Chris. Him, I, this is why I love you. I'm yeah, going to interrupt I mean, you. Is because here we are. This is this is supposed to be a Chris Andres interview, and here you are talking, giving you know other artists, other music, and that shows like the passion in the music for, for what you want to do, you know? And, uh, like, you. you know, and... I, there's so many great. We could go on and on about you know oh, yeah. about yeah. Wayland. <laughs> yeah. You got to get yep. uh, Terry. I had, Terry was a guest on the show, and uh, Terry wrote yep. he wrote uh, yeah. uh, Wayland. You you read it? Tells, it? Tells him outlaw. Oh yeah. What yeah. a great man! That is a great read right there. Um, yep. Well, I talk to I sometimes talk to Terry. I become friends with him through social media, and I sometimes and and it's the same thing, you know. Um, um, you know, Terry did a good job of humanizing his dad in that book, and uh, and I thought that was I thought that was important, you know, because um, um, he kind of left it all out there, you know. He and, did, uh, and there and were the things in that book that I thought, like, oh my God, you know, uh, like you talk about Waylon Jennings and he's this and that, and then yep. then you hear a story like, you know, my dad sent me for drugs and hookers, you know, and like you put that in the book. I'm like, he goes, yeah, he goes, he said, listen, this is. You know, there's more than one side. He goes, then he talks about, like, the charitable right. things that his father did and the people he, you know. Yeah. So it was, um, 
It's a great book. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to Mr. Chris Andres right here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. Um, and Chris is, is, you know, a super talented uh, singer-songwriter. Obviously, he, he is um, he's incredible. Just look at his circle of friends that, you know, the Jennings family and everybody. So that just kind of is a testimony to Chris as, a, as, a, as an artist and his music. So, uh, um Let's do this. Yeah. Let's get back to, into sure. your music. Waylon Jennings is, uh, I love the Jennings family, but, uh, you know, let's. Uh, I, I, they're trying to, you know, I think <laughs> guys like me, guys like Chris, Moondog Hall, uh, um, you know, um, veterans like Billy, Don Burns and Billy Genton and all these people, you know, what we're trying to do is just keep that, that form of music, the, the, the really good stuff alive, you know, um, so that people have an alternative. I mean, there's so much. Um, uh, um, uh, pop music that's kind of um, um, shoved down our throats under the guise of being something that it's not. So we, you know, I, I, I'm an I'm a uh, uh, you know I, I, I'm a big supporter of the guys and the artists that are out there and the gals. You know, there's so many great gals out there right now making great music. But those are you know those are the people I like to champion because um, you know I believe in the music as as an art form. I, I think it's important that you know it's kind of like um, you know this kind of music. That used to be the way people got their news back in the day, you know. The, you know, so it's important that the stories are honest, the stories are real, and and the and the and the tunes are real, you know. Yep, and they're doing it the easy way, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I, is it that easy though? I I do have some friends that are like n- next week. I'm doing a festival with a a, a band up here. I, you know, again, I'm not gonna, but uh, you know, and they're kind of more in the popular vein. And when I talk to a lot of these artists backstage. You know, a lot of them say, man, I wish we could kind of do what you're doing, but, you know, we're kind of, you know, you got to go where the money is. And, and I go, and I go the, uh, as soon as you say money to me, I run the other way because it's, you know, that's the first time. You, it, as soon as you bring money into it, you start to dilute the art form, and I like it nice and pure, and, uh, and I think it's better to get it that way, in my opinion, anyways. All right, I got you. So uh, speaking of the easy way, let's talk about that cut. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, again, you know, uh, um, you know, being you know, the thread of like even that five song EP, you know, each one of those songs kind of has, a, you know, in that particular EP is, is linked together and uh, and, um, um, you know, uh, it can stand alone as its own song. Or if you listen to it, you know, with the other songs, you know, in a, you know, it kind of helps tell the thread of the story. But uh, um uh, again, I think you know it's a relationship song. You know, it's about people. Like sometimes, people take the easy way, and sometimes that's not the best way to take. It's better to kind of um, to, to tough it out. Sometimes I think. All right. Well, you're going to be the DJ. Introduce yourself, the song, the show, and let's let let's okay. let folks. All right. This is Chris Andrews, and I'm on uh, the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show uh, with Redneck, and uh, this is a song off my last EP. It's called The Easy Way. Got a call from an old friend the other day Things ain't going so good Seems the bank took his home away I guess he knew they would Where is all that you promised me? I never looked for the easy way Work my fingers to the bone Now you come and take away my home My home seen his wife and kids in a while they'd moved on it would seem he hopes one day he'll wake up from this nightmare so he goes back to sleep and he dreams 
Where is all that you promised me? I never looked for the easy way. Work my fingers to the bone. Now you come and take away my home, my home. Things were good, his life was great. He had the whole world on a plate. But things changed like they always do. He kept his head up, Lord, he fought it through. Wow, man! If if y'all don't like that, y'all don't like music. I guarantee there's uh, that's powerful right there. That's man. That is. That, and the, the the who's playing the guitar on that? The steel guitar. That's uh, I'm, I'm playing the acoustic, and it's uh, um, uh, 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 um, Gary McDonald is playing uh, um, the dobro on that, but he's also my pedal steel player. So I got a, I just about forgot to give him a shout out, which have been completely rude to me yeah that's gary i call him gary Steele. he uh he's my right hand man he's uh he's been with me for a couple of years now and uh and uh i i, I I'd, I'd be lost without him really today. i tell you what for like a, a two-man band for a weekend this is this is so i mean this is this this album is done so well so well oh thank you so kudos i mean to i you. can't yeah that's uh that's alex the producer uh he he worked with a lot of bigger bands uh and uh and so you know, um, we've we've kind of been in each other's orbit for a couple of years. We've always wanted to work together. We, he had a free weekend. I had a free weekend. We went in, and that's what we came up with in uh, in a couple of days. So, but uh, yeah, that song, Easy Way. Yeah, that's a, that's um, that you know, again, it it it, it, tie, it really ties into the, the 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 whole concept of Tired Old Town because, you know, um, um, that's kind of a song really about you know. Um, when the work goes away and the bank comes in and takes away your home, you've worked your whole life. I've had friends. It's happened to me where you you work hard. I worked at a mill for years, and uh, you know the the work dries up and you lose everything you've worked for. You've done everything the right way, and and uh, and uh, yeah, it, it's a it's a it's a heavy one. That's a heavy song for sure. Yeah, I I, I think that um, you know, it's not a concept album. Like I said, everything nope. stands alone, but it's uh, it it's it's life. I mean, it's just good writing. It's, yeah. it's good writing. It seems like, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're in Canada, Australia, America, yeah. you know, if, I think yeah. it's, it's just, it has that human element to it. And it's, it's really well done. I love your voice. I, I love everything about that. Thank and we're grateful. We appreciate, you know, the fanship that you bring to our radio show. Just, just playing your music. It makes, makes us a better program. So thank you. Oh, hey, it, it, you know what? Hearing you play my music, it, that's, that, that justifies everything that I do. I, I, you don't know how much I appreciate the support. It, uh, you know, for independent artists, this is, this, is, this is how we get that out there to the, to the ears of the folks. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, some folks, uh, you know, they turn towards it, and then we continue to be able to, you know, give them that kind of music um, so that there's an alternative, you know, from the corporate stuff that people are bombarded with all the time. Well, it's uh, good artists out there. That's why we're here. Billy Gantz says hello, by the way. Billy Gantz checking in. Hey, so, hey, I love Billy. Uh, uh, he's one of my favorite writers in the world, actually. Um, um, I, 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 he's 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 prolific. He's he's just he's he's awesome. I don't think he's so unique. Uh, he's one of those guys that, um, that just has his own his own sound. I, I'm I'm 
him and Billy Don Burns, you know, are two guys that uh, uh, are, are loom large to me. Those are the, if I can ever grow up and be a great writer, it's, I'd like to be like one of those guys. Yeah, Dean uh, Dillon's one of those guys too, you know. Yes, the, the, the yeah, no, that. there's so many great, you know what, you know, the thing about country music that I love is it's about the writing, I think, uh, and there's so many great writers, uh, um, uh, and I think that, you know, um, and for me, I like I like the plaintiffs, you know, I like the stuff that's, uh, you know, stripped down, as obviously, because that's, you know, that's my last, but that's the stuff I love. I like to be able to hear the emotion in the voice. I like to be able to, you know, and yeah, that's what it's about. Um, um, uh yeah, and and Billy's way up there for me. Um, um, I'm a huge, massive fan of his. I, I, uh, I even cover his. I, you know the song I cover, but I cover one of his songs <laughs> in my live set. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, and uh, <laughs> you know, there's a few trees you don't want to shake too. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, it's, 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 um, yeah, yeah. You know, here's you know. I mentioned that, you know, we call it the Calgary Stampede, but uh, there's some great country music out there. And you talk about artists. Um, you know, I have a good friend, Rod Black, who, who, who was, yep. who, who's, he was with Jet Black Stare. He's doing his own thing now. And um, he yep. writes, and he, you know, he went through a few experiences, you know, almost losing his own yep. life, lo losing his father. And, and um, yep. but there's another fellow up there. And if you don't know him, you got to know him. We play him on the show all the time. His name is Scott McLeod, M-A-C-L-E-O-D. And Scott McCloud is just oh my God he's he's just he writes so well he has that he has that gritty you know just you know Springsteen kind of nice. voice yeah, you I know I, yeah he's he, he's yeah, great I, there's I, so much great country music coming out of out of there I, and great singer songwriters yeah. out of from up there cool I mean that's weird I I also I actually I know a guy named Scott McCloud he lives down in. Uh, 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 he lives down there now. He lives uh, just outside of Nashville, but he's a bass player. But uh, but I look. I haven't heard of this Scott McLeod. I know Rod Black. Um, and again, I mentioned uh, you know the young guy right now that's tearing it up is Coulter. You know, um, he's from Saskatchewan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, long gone to Saskatchewan. I listen. I play Coulter Wall here on a regular basis. You know, there's um, yeah, there's some there's some great Canadian country music going out. But listen, yeah, that was a weird. You know what I want to do? Because uh, I've had you on the phone forever. Um, let's do this. Uh, I told you my favorite song is Just Settling In, and I wanted yep. to chat about that. What I like, when I first started listening to it, it sounded like this, you know, people, when you listen to the song, it is a love song. I'm telling you right now, to me, it is a love song. It's one of those songs yep. where there's an epiphany at. When you first start listening to it, you think the guy's going, oh, man, you know, I'm just kind of, yeah. you know. And uh, there's a realization, you know, he's thinking, did she did she just settle for me, you know, and yep. and yeah. he's going and she's going to he's settling for me, and, and then they realize yeah. you know what let's just settle in together, let's settle into each other. Yep. A am I wrong yeah. in my interpretation or what? No, that's exactly right. I I, I kind of I, I kind of wrote it, uh, you know, uh, you know how, sometimes you know uh, people give up too quickly on 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 things. They give up on relationships. They give up on, uh, and that's a song about um um. Uh, People just kind of looking at each other and going, you know what? No, you know, like this is worth it. This is worth kind of working on. Now, I, I've been married for 27 years, so you know, I, uh, you know, it, it's a, you know, it's a work. You know, you work at it. You know, it, it's uh, and and a lot of people just, you know, they have they have a tough time and they walk away. Eh, sometimes it's you know, the grass isn't always greener, man. You got to kind of you know, and 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 just settling in. It's not about settling. It's about settling in, you know, um, and I think you got it right on the mark. You're, you're, you're right on the money on it. That's exactly kind of what it's about, you know. All right, well, one more time, you're going to be the DJ, and you're going to play my favorite Chris Anders song for now until the new album comes out. All right. This is Chris Andres on the Gumbo Yaya yeah radio show with your host, Redneck, and this is his favorite song, Just Settling In. gone cold I love his golden flame But I ain't giving up no I wasn't built like that And your family never liked me 
on that we can't breathe. But I got down and I proposed to you on bended knee, and we never have much cash, but that ain't no sin. I never felt like you were settling. You were just settling in. Just settling in. Just settling in. It was me and you against the world. We were just settling in. This morning, I looked in your eyes. I told you that I loved you. We both broke down and we cried. You said you were waiting for the day I'd say goodbye. Just thought that I had settled, it settled for you. Just settling in, just settling in. It was me and you against the world, just settling in. Just Settling In, the incredible, talented, gifted singer-songwriter, outlaw country, Canadian superstar, Mr. Chris Andrus, right here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. Chris, man, I love that song. That's my absolute favorite song. Oh, thank song. you, sir. I love that. Oh, thank you. You know, oh, and um, you. look, I, I, I was going to let you go, but I can't. You know, I figure it, <laughs> it would be an injustice to, um, to do four out of five songs. So <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. I'm going to do this as... Uh, well, let's uh, let's make sure that um, we just go ahead and play the last song, and uh, sure, that's a- I think it's one more day is the title of that. Yeah, one more day. You bet. All right. Yeah. So hold on, we're gonna say goodbye to you right after this, and uh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we have on the phone with us Mr. Chris Anders, the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. We've been listening to the tracks off of his latest release. Tired Old Town, we'd have one copy. Actually, you know what? Somebody already just got themselves a copy of uh, this. Oh, hey, thank you. Tired thank Old you. Town. And um, so we're going to play the last song. It's called One More Day. And uh, we're going to come back, and we'll say goodbye to you after that. So I uh, just want to make sure that uh, you're okay with that. Even, even if you're not, we're going to oh, yeah. keep you on the phone. <laughs> I know. It's, I, listen, I, I, I appreciate it more than you can know. I, I really do. Thank you. We're fans. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, 89.1 FM, WFDU HD2. This is One More Day by Mr. Chris Andrus off his, title, off his latest album, Tired Old Town.
There's a fire been burning It's getting bigger every day It's time to grab your children Across the darkness in the day Digital delight of jazz and what's more on WFDU HD2, Tina. people thank you so much for tuning in here to the gumbo yaya radio show 89.1 fm wfdu hd2 we try to get in here every monday as often as we can um from 9 a.m to 1 p.m and we're very pleased that we made it in today because we have with us an incredible singer songwriter mr chris andrus on the phone right here and um that was one more day and I tell you what, man, I'd like to have him on the show for one more day, man. He could he could join us any time. He's uh, it oh, is. Thank you, sir. We love your music, man. We do. We, oh, thank you. So uh, I love the show. Hey, yeah, you know, and and keep on doing what you're doing, man. It's important work. You know, we gotta we gotta keep getting that music out there into folks' ears. Um, well, as long as we have artists like you that that uh, you know, friends, I, I'd like to be able to call you a friend if you don't mind. Um, we are friends. I, I, we, hey, man, we just broke bread. We're friends. That's there you sure. go. You shake hands, you're friends, you break bread, you're family. So come on. That's it. All right. We're family then, I think. Good well, man. one more time, P tell folks who that, where you're at, and, and, and we'll let you go. And we just want to say thank you so much for okay. joining us here on the program. All right. Thank you, Redneck. My name is Chris Andres. I'm from Vancouver Island in Canada. And remember, folks, hug your friends, kiss your family, 
Thank the Lord, and you all keep listening to Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Chris Andrews right here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. Excited to have him on.